Hello, my name is Chris Pine. Welcome to my workshop. I recently kind of got caught up in making tops when I was doing some wood turning on my lathe. And you can make tops of all kinds. I mean, it's really a simple project, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can make little ones like this out of oak. Uh, made this little onion drop shape one. Uh, I don't know, maybe space capsule shaped uh, out of walnut. And then you could do a two-part where you put a dowel into a piece of wood. This is purple heart. Purple heart. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting here. Um, and then just one out of some old pine wood that I had, just ordinary pine. Uh, turned the whole piece out of that. Um, one of the more interesting and fun tops that I've made recently, and I saw a similar design on the internet, was this one right here. And uh, this is actually very easy to make, and I'd like to show you today how to do that. And we'll try to do it between centers. I, I do one thing where I put it in a chuck at the end to kind of tune up the point, but I think 99% of this can be done between centers. Let's give it a try today. Come with me. Watch the project. Okay, I got my overhead camera going, and what we got here is a piece of maple and I am going to turn a dowel out of this basically roughly 5 eighths of an inch in, of, of an inch in diameter and I already have it uh, I installed my drive center on one end so I'm going to put that in and we're going to bring up the tail stock okay so we've got this turned down and it we've got it on the first part of this the end of this is two dimension which is what we want ever so slightly we we'll want this to be tapered down to this end so I'm gonna go ahead and sand just a little bit to prep it to receive the other piece of wood okay, good now what we're gonna do Is before I install this, I'm going to round these over on the uh, bandsaw, these edges. I have taken that piece of wood and on the bandsaw I've knocked the corners off. Um, so you get the basic idea. It just saves you time when you're turning it. So what we want to do now is move the tailstock out. And we want to fit this on the dowel. So this actually goes up quite a ways. Um, I probably tapered this just a hair too much, but that's okay. We want to uh, glue this approximately right about there. And I like it to have a really good fit, but this time it's a little loose. It'll be okay. I'm just going to mark that. Mark that approximately where I want it. So we have an idea. And I'm going to take some glue. I'm just going to put that in that area on the dowel. I'm going to put this on in that area. Okay, I can feel the wood's already swelling a little bit right there. So that's a good thing. Put this back on just to hold it. time being here. Alright. What we want to do is I have some activator here. I'm going to squirt it. Let's see if we can get that to hold. Okay. So we have the piece glued onto the round to the dowel and uh, it's a solid now so it won't turn. So what we're going to do is it's rechucked into the lathe. They're going to start cleaning the edges up and start turning. But okay, so you get the idea. I'm cleaning up the edges. I'm going to clean up the sides, uh, the faces of this disc. I'm going to continue shaping here. So I'm just going to keep going, and we're going to see what comes out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. 
and let your creative side take over. You can shape this however you want to. I got the disc basically the way I want it. I've even sanded a little bit and cleaned it up. So now I'm going to start shaping the other piece here, the, the dowel down the center. To apply some finish and what I use is just hot crystal coat it's a uh, friction polish works well on stuff like this so you just put a little on the towel and then start applying it without the lathe running at first Just for full disclosure, I did put this in the chuck and uh, tuned up this point, uh, even though I parted off pretty well. Uh, and I probably could have uh, just used sandpaper, uh, hand sand that. Uh, it was a lot easier just to use the lathe and put it in the chuck, so that's what I did. Uh, the finish is all applied. The blue tape is just to protect uh, this inside surface up against the chuck, uh, but that worked out well. I've I, I took a, a skew and just kind of cleaned this up and then sanded it and put finish on it. So we should be good to go. Okay, here's the test. Let's see if it works. I've actually made so far a total of three of these. This was my original, um, very similar to the one we made together. And I made one out of Corian as well. This is just a sample of the countertop material, Corian, and it's a lot heavier. So this one spins, it's a, uh, I think, it doesn't seem to spin any longer, but it, but it seems like it should because it's heavier. Anyway, great project. Your kids will love these. Um, they make great gifts. Whatever you do. Have fun, be safe, tops to you. Still going, oh, and done. What time did you have? First time I did this with my first one, it was over two minutes. Peace.